the court finds that the accused in her private defense, which is the basis of her, 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 her plea, exceeded the limits of or bounds of such defense by plunging the state knife into the chest of the deceased, thus intentionally and unlawfully killing him. This lends credence to the evidence of the forensic pathologist Dr. Tandima Hulu Hulu that the nature of the force used for the type of injury sustained by the deceased was consistent with considerable force which fractured the left fourth rib and penetrated the pericardial sac and right ventricles in the heart of the deceased. This unlawful act of the accused was accompanied by an express intention which is even recorded in the court's record. It follows that private defense cannot avail the accused. Also, she has exceeded its limit, as, as she had limit, exceeded its limits, and I also find that the state has proved its case beyond reasonable doubt. In the result, I make the following order. The accused is hereby found guilty of the murder of, uh, of Mr. Habedi as charged. Um, relieved that, at least, like I said, you know, relieved that my boy has been vilified, you know, relieved that the judge saw, saw through him, you know, with all the lies that she was saying, all the lies that she was told. And she should just have spoken the truth, because at first I gave her the benefit of the doubt, you know, because I thought then it was a mistake. But when she started telling all those lies, then that's when I thought, this child is evil. Christianity must be put aside. If you're not in jail, I don't believe in killers.